Just for any, any of the players, in, in a game like this, is it more that, that y'all are, I guess, playing yourself and playing the opponent, working on the stuff that y'all in, in practice that y'all need to correct? I mean, yeah. yeah. Games like this is definitely a time to correct all the things that you need to get fixed in practice or in the games we played before. I mean, for example, this game we wanted to try to do better at defensive rebounding. I'm not going to say whether or not we did a good job with that, but, uh, I mean, that's a goal for our for ours that we just found out for the next game. So. It, it kind of been a little bit of a trend where you guys maybe got a little too trigger happy and then kind of figured things out in the paint in the second half. But, you know, you guys started off maybe a little slow in the paint, but really stuck with it and, you know, continued to, I think you had like 50 or 52 points in the paint. Just how much has that been an emphasis recently in recent weeks just to, you know, continue attacking the paint no matter what? I guess that can be for Tari or Oh, it's been huge. You know, uh, paint touches, you know, lead to good offense. You know what I'm saying? And for a kick out or a foul or anything like that. So uh, paint touches and getting to the paint has been a, you know, a big focal point for us, you know, these past couple of weeks. I noticed the uh, bench kind of went crazy at the end of the game there when you guys almost had a shot clock violation. What can you kind of talk to me about what that was? <laughs> man. Oh, man. Uh, uh, I mean, I don't know how to put it into detail. We got a lot of sprints on the line. Like, we got a lot of down and backs on the table right now. So, we kind of trying to keep the turnovers under 10. So, I mean, that one kind of put us at 10. So, we just kind of worried about that one. But it's no problem. We got it figured out. <laughs> Tari, obviously, you got SEC Player of the Week this week. Just how is the game coming to you? What do you like about what you're doing right now, and what do you need to feel like you still need to improve upon? Everything. Um, I'm not a complete player. Nothing about me is complete, so, you know, I can work on everything. All aspects, <clears throat> all aspects of my game can get better, and, you know, that's what I'm going to work on, all aspects. What have you found so far, though, that's enabling you to have some just just my motor being everywhere doing you know what I've always done best um I think that's really what's helped me get into the free throw line knocking down my free throws stuff like that I guess after this could be for you just how sustainable is it when you guys are able to score in the paint like that I mean I know that's obviously a big part of y'all's offense and y'all's identity just just how sustainable will that become I guess SEC play man it just opens up everything just scoring in the paint and then everyone digs down you can kick it out to shooters and they can get wide open shots that's really what it is just getting players open looks. So, you know, if you score in the paint, you can score anywhere, for real, for real. This is a non-game specific. I was noticing your shoes tonight. How do you guys determine what shoes you get, when you wear them? How do you have, like, a number of times you get to pick? Me, personally, I don't know. I, don't know. I really just ask them. And I say, do these look good? And they tell me, like, yeah, they look good. Or they tell me no. And I switch them. But, I mean, pretty much we all just ask each other, like, do these look good? And if you get approved, then you can wear them. But if they don't get approved, you better not wear them. Might get, <laughs> yeah, might get talked about. Not. Yeah, basically. Yeah, we just, we, we, you know, everybody on this team, you know, we all love shoes. You know, we like you know, fashion. Facts. We like to look good, play good, feel good. So that's what it is. Yeah, we just, oh, I mean, sure. yeah, you know, a uh, lot of us. Gives, yeah, yeah. You got coach gives us a lot of freedom, basically, to answer your question. I didn't know that that was what you were asking, but coach doesn't care what we have on our feet. We can have anything. So we just, we have a lot of freedom with choosing what shoes we wear. We just, we just, we just have, we just, you know, we have, you know, some guys, you know, pick up a shoe here or there or stuff, stuff like that or just from high school. I mean, I know for me personally, um, a lot, couple, a lot of my shoes, you know, have come from high school just because my high school was purple, and you know, the shoes that we got from high school, you know, I can wear now. So, a lot of us are just, you know, have shoes, so we just put them on. You get to call the rep and be like, hey, I'm sorry. Nah, I wish. I, I wish. Why Ooh. not? <laughs> can we? <laughs> we can use that to promote if we can. <laughs> get at us, nil. So who's, NIL. The, so who's the worst at picking shoes? I mean, who's the worst? Uh -huh, I mean, that y'all continually go. I'm not. No. You no. should say it on three. Yeah. One, two, three. Jarrell. Jarrell. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh Y'all just kill him every time he puts something on? Hey, we just randomly decided that, so we never <laughs> – We just looked at each other. But, I mean, yeah, uh, he kind of puts on all the team issue shoes, and that's not really – but you know, that was just <laughs> we we help it's him just, though. We help it's him just, though. We it's help just him. how he puts it together is a little bit unorthodox. I think that's what I'm trying to say. How he puts it together. Yeah. 
Low That's tops, I don't know if they went away, to be honest. Yeah, they've been in. For, or at least for our Especially generation. Especially like Kobe's. Nah. Kobe low tops would never go away. Rest in peace, Kobe. Yeah. yeah. I'm the, uh, Patrick from yeah, SpongeBob. Yeah, these are Kyrie's. So, yeah. I mean, or, yeah, these are Kyrie's. But, uh, yeah, this year, probably going to catch me in Kyrie's and Kobe's. Uh, shoes? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. How you know that? Mm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so I'm saying talk about the old shoes. I know you guys are all first year players, but you know, LSU started 10 and 0 for the first time since 2000. I mean, that's, you know, a nice 20 year history there that you guys are making. Just, um, I know that's, that's not a goal or anything, but just how, you know, just how does that guy, I guess, make y'all feel that, you know, you set these guys? Um, it makes us feel good. I mean, luckily it doesn't get us uh, the goal that we want towards the end of the season. But, I mean, like I told Tari, I mean, every week, as much as we can, I mean, let's make history. So, as long as we keep winning, that's the longest that history is going to keep getting made. So, we're just going to stay locked in on that. Yeah. Like X said, this is a new LSU. For sure. Uh, I got one. If he could just look towards the weekend, taking the show on the road to Bozier and playing in, I think, what is a charity, you know, benefit game? Oh, uh, I mean, we got a good LA, LA Tech, La Tech. I don't know how you guys say it out here, but we got a good LA Tech opponent. I mean, we know about them already. We've started scouting them already. So, I mean, we know they're a good team, and we can't play as near as close as we play today. We actually have to come out 40 minutes ready. So, I mean, we're just. Enjoy this little half day off tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> and get back to it <laughs> on Thursday. <laughs> uh, we, we, not really. No, yeah, we took, yeah, we took a to bus Nickel ride. State. Yeah. We took a bus to Nickel State, sure. so a second. Yeah. We, we kind of enjoy the bus drive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>